Hi there, people of the internet. Styx here. Today I'm going to be building an awesome wizard tower. I really like the outcome, so be sure to stick around till the end so that you can enjoy it yourself. I just wanted to talk to everyone today about a small project I've starting called Nomadacraft. Simply said, it's an SMP for small content creators like myself. I've got many replies and I've already laid my sights on a few people I'd like to invite to the server. I think that this project could be really fun, so I hope this exposure keeps going so I can invite at least 10 other people to the server. I've already decided to start uh, asking some questions to a few content creators that reply to me. Um, I got really excited for this and uh, decided to do some interviews, asking people to make some videos from me of course. Um, but don't worry, everyone can still join. Uh, I will link the video in the end cards and I will post the application form for Nomadicraft in the description and in the comments. Anyways, let's get on with the build. Um, I'm using a mod called the Replay mod to film this. It's a really fun mod, but it's really difficult to use well the first time, so there might be some weird angles in this video, but don't worry, uh, I'll fix that in later videos once I get the hang of the Replay mod a bit more. Um, the tower itself, as you can see, is mostly created using world edit. I'm now trying to get the shape of the top part right, but it's really difficult. Uh, so you can see me redo a few things. Uh, I've looked up some inspiration, but it's still quite difficult to get it right the first try. Anyways, now that I've got the shape right, just a little bit, a little bit I decide to make the top a bit bigger. If someone's going to be living in here, it better be big, right? Um, otherwise people might get some claustrophobia or something. Uh, anyways, I uh, expand the top a little bit and uh, now that you can see the design come together a little bit more, you might have seen this design before. It's also in my Nomadicraft announcement video. Well, a similar design to this. Uh, it's very briefly, but you can see it in there. Um, I've built this design before, I really like the design, but I want to refine it a bit more. So this uh, build might still look the same uh, as in that video, but later on it will look entirely different. Uh, now for the roof. The roof was also not a problem I was thinking that I was going to face. Uh, it was quite a bit more difficult than I imagined. That's because I really don't like the texture of the prismarine block, but I like the colors. Um, so I decided to use the prismarine bricks instead. Um, I couldn't, didn't really have another choice for this similar color and uh, design, since I want to use stairs and slabs, as you can see. And uh, there are not a lot of blocks in this color using stairs and slabs. It's mostly only the prismarine. Now that I've got everything correct for one roof, I decide to fill in um, the other roofs copy pasting it uh, to the other sides. Um, this did make it a bit more difficult for me uh, since I had already filled in a side but not to worry it will be fixed later on. Um, so yeah filling in the roof just a tad bit more. Uh, I want to basically make it look smooth and like a real roof so that's why I added the stairs and the slabs. Uh, now that the roof is completely done, I decide to do something for the middle. It's a bit empty there still, uh, so I decide to create a little bit of a magical orb or something in the middle there, out of stained glass. I also decide inside the build to add some supports to give it that sense of realism still. Uh, though, of course, it's a magical orb, so there's not a whole lot of realism going on. Um, I decided to change out the orb just a little bit here um, with stained glass and concrete in the middle uh, since now it was just entirely see-through and I wanted to have it feel like a physical orb, something that you could touch. Anyways, uh, now I go on with a bit of the detailing, deciding to add some windows uh, on the sides of the roof. Um, this really hid some of the prismarine bricks which I really liked. I like the color of them but I don't like the texture like I said earlier. Uh, this of both the prismarine and the prismarine bricks. Um, so this will allow me to uh, hide it a bit with the dark prismarine while still having that color. So I decided to add some tall windows on the sides and um, 
to add the dark prismarine on the side of the build as well to blend everything in just a tad bit more. Uh, I really enjoyed building this. If you enjoyed watching this as well, be sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe for more of this. Also, leave a comment down below for suggestions on what I should build next. I always uh, like that in case I run out of ideas. Anyways, here are some big lanterns that I s decide to hang on the sides to give it, even at night time, that epic feel. Um, I decided to do this out of shroom light um, and dark stone, I believe it's called. Black stone, that's what it's called. But I decided to change that out for some spruce and dark oak wood. Uh, I also decided to add some orange stained glass to give it that a bit more texture instead of just the shroom light being uh, overwhelming in there. Uh, now for the door, uh, it's a spruce door with dark oak trap doors and an invisible item frame with a stone in there as a handle. It's a bit of a basic design, I don't really know how to do doors, so that's just what I added uh, right there. I also don't do the interior in this video, I will maybe do a video on the interior later. That's because I find it really difficult to make tight turns with the replay mod. So I just do a little bit of interior here. Uh, using some, well at least trying to use some paintings but apparently it didn't work so I decided to add some item frames for maps later on. Uh, anyways now creating a bit more of a sloped feel on this entire tower um, with the stairs and the slabs. This is something that I is it's a di little bit of a difference but it's one of the most important differences in my opinion to blend everything together and make it look like one thing instead of just pillars towering up i also decided to change out the texture of the stone bricks to mossy and cracked stone bricks and normal stone bricks to give it that weathered feel I did, I did this using a brush so it's completely random uh i do like the outcome of it though uh so yeah, that's uh, basically the entire thing. I also decided to add some leaves to the sides and to the bottom of this build uh, to also give it that weathered feel. Uh, I find it always really difficult to make good organic shapes, as most people do of course. But I found out that if you go from uh, wide leaves to smaller leaves uh, at the bottom, it can really make the build feel a bit better. I also decided to add some wood to give some color variation and some leaves on the side as well, dripping down. I do always have a problem with my builds that all my natural shapes curve at the same uh, angle to the same side, so it kind of seems like it's constantly spiraling as this camera is doing right now. Uh, I also decided to add some lanterns so that it will be lit up uh, for all the screenshots and to make it have a bit more of that fantasy feel as if someone had actually built this in survival. I also decided to uh, change up the chains with the uh, with the lanterns to give it a bit more of that organic feel as well. Now I'm doing the maps as you can see I'm zooming in on there and there I am posting in the maps. That last map it's also there it's just uh, not visible on this shot apparently but yeah that was the entire build i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to let me know in the comments and with a like all right see you guys in the next one goodbye sticks